I've struggled with several BMWs before, the worst BMWs. We've dropped the drivetrain from an i8, I've limped along a V10 M5 with the spun rod bearing, and chased down over 100 fault codes on this twin turbo 335. So when a viewer by the name of Alex offered me his very rare spec 5-speed manual 530i, I was thrilled. On paper, this could quite possibly be the most simple BMW ever created. No hybrid system with wires running everywhere, no over-engineered 10-cylinder with a complex and disastrous transmission, no forced induction with added problem areas, literally a straight six with a five speed transmission. If there ever was a Toyota Camry of BMWs, this car would be it. But who am I kidding? If my stepmom had an Adam's apple, she'd be my stepdad. There is seemingly no easy task in the world of BMWs. And even though this is by far the simplest design BMW I've ever worked on, it's proved to be one of the toughest projects I've ever had. A two-day job turned into two weeks, which felt like an eternity. But once we finished, it was totally worth it because we turned this free E39 5 Series into over $85,000. The value of these cars has become insane. Every time I mention the recent crazy sales prices of similar example E39s, I met with a ton of criticism in the comments, and even though YouTubers lie, numbers don't. The amount of money in new OE parts from FCP Euro, plus its rare spec, I imagine it being worth something near these numbers. But instead of trying to guess this car's value, I partnered with the Amelia Island Concorde d'Elegance, which is an event so prestigious they threw out the only bearded hooligan in attendance two years in a row, and we raffled this car off with 100% of the proceeds going to Spina Bifida of Jacksonville. There were 5,000 tickets in total, which we completely sold out and raised over $85,000. So this is now officially the most expensive E39 non-M5 in existence and someone will own the car for only $20 all while benefiting a great cause now since this car is going to be placed front and center on the concourse we want to make sure it looks like it belongs so I'm going to do a quick clean and shine which will be really simple since I already ceramic coated this car with armor shield 9 shortly before sending it to Eurocharge since it's already been coated the cleaning is really easy see how all the dirt and grime just washes away and the water sheets off doesn't matter if your car is two months or 20 years old DIY ceramic coating is super simple especially with an armor shield 9 kit and it leaves an amazing clean finish that lasts well over a year. You can ceramic coat pretty much any part of your car. The wheels to keep off brake dust, front grills and headlights so the bugs slide right off, and your black plastic trims to restore that deep glossy shine that will last way longer than that generic auto parts store stuff. One bottle's plenty if you're going to do a mid-sized car like a BMW 5 Series, but if you're going to do a truck or do all your wheels, trims and everything like that, you might want to get a couple bottles. When you order more bottles, you get a steeper discount. And right now during Avalon King's Memorial Day sale, they're doing something they've never done before and that's throw in their car wash wash and prep shampoo along with your order and the discount is the highest it's been all year. So go ahead, check out Avalon Kings at the link in the description box below. Again, if you just need one bottle, make sure you use my code SAMCRACK. That's going to get you 25 bucks off your order. And I want to give them a huge thanks for sponsoring this video. Transmission on this car is small and simple. It's held in with just 10 bolts, five of which got stuck in the engine block upon removal. Even my friends at Eurocharge Orlando were surprised. They work on these cars all the time. And they said they haven't encountered problems like we did with this one. Once the transmission was finally out. Another day was spent extracting the stuck bolts from the engine block to make sure we cause as little issue as possible. Over the next several days, we work from morning until late at night. Following video might be a little fragmented, but it should give you a good idea of the amount of work involved in this project and bring to life the old saying, there's nothing more expensive than a cheap, but in this case, free BMW. Today, all of this and more, there's even more boxes in the trunk, is going in the BMW. And Alex came to join us. Alex, Come on, man, you gave us the car, you helped us out on day one. This is the last day and you came back for more. I'm a glutton. It <laughs> well, needs to be done. We got a deadline and we gotta meet it. This that's, car's gotta go. It's going in just a few days. Alex is working on the suspension components, all of which have been provided by FCPR. We got a bunch there. Again, I told you there's more in the trunk. There's a box there. They sent us all of this stuff to make the BMW like new, and I can't thank them enough for it. But I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna get under this car and help Alex out. I'm getting this all prepared for the transmission to go back in place, but we've got a good amount more work to do. Uh, eventually, we're gonna get this oil pan off, and we're gonna get the motor mounts, transmission mounts. This car's getting new everything, so let's get to it. All right, so I've got my chaser, I've got a regular wrench, and a little bit of penetrating oil. And so this just has to go pretty slow. We're gonna get up here into our problem thread areas, and I'm gonna shoot them real quick with a little bit of the oil, so that keeps everything just nice and smooth and it won't bind the chaser. And the most important part is probably starting this you want it to start nice and flush. So I want to get it straight and then turn, just like we're turning a bolt in. So as you turn it in and out, you can see the little fragments of metal that come out on the chaser itself. So it's important to do this really slow and clean it off every uh, few turns. 
go in and out and in and out, and that should clean up the thread so that they're reusable. Alex, that was no fun, man. <laughs> it's the worst. So we had to take this whole entire back deck out and there's a lot of little fasteners and that's because our strut mounts for our rear struts are right underneath the speaker covering. So we got everything temporarily held in place here. Let's rip these struts out really quick, swap them and uh, I don't want to put this back together today. We'll, we'll go back onto the transmission or something after that. Here, tap with a hammer. Where's that green hammer? It's right on the ground right here. There it is. That was not violent at all. That was good. Okay, fine. The nut's in place. That's why we put it there. We were thinking ahead. This is a job well done, guys. The question is, how are we getting the new one in? You didn't ask me to do all that. You asked me how to remove it. Okay. <laughs> one step at a time. Yeah. Is it spinning? Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Spinning the ball joint on the inside. So we need like a uh... a pry bar. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Listen, whoever wins this car, realize that this is no fun, but it's gonna be done for you. All right, here we go. Coming? I don't think so. Remove an old original suspension with over 100,000 miles is no fun. And we got a uh, air saw here, so we're gonna just go and cut where this is bolted in place, this control arm, yank it right off, and we've got all the hardware and new pieces to replace it. All right, so that control arm is like basically, can we get this out now? Finally. It's taken several hours to get to the point of just removing one rear strut. And the reason why this all came apart is because we, we had that jack under here, if you noticed, and we loosened the top nut holding the mount on in there. So that just kind of eliminates one step, having to put a spring compressor around this. As long as you loosen it really slow, you know, should be good, but don't do that unless you have the tools like you see here, like this dead man jack and stuff like that. Alex is getting started on the other side. Once the rear is done, things will be a little bit more downhill. Check out this tired old worn original strut. FCP Euro provided us with the Bilstein Sport equivalent. So these match the original ride quality of the sport package of this car. So we're gonna put in all brand new hardware and our brand new Bilstein shocks and this thing is gonna ride amazing when it's all put back together. So this thing lights on fire, you know what's happening, right? Are you giving I'm away I8? I'm giving away uh, an M3. You just give away some chickens. Spinning it or no? No. No. It's not moving. There you go. Nice. Hey, what was that we said in the last video? Sometimes you just need that guy that's got a little bit more muscle than he does brain, right? Uh. Uh, so this socket right here is actually for extracting worn lug nuts. So we're gonna hammer it on our stripped O2 sensor and see if it will uh, pull it off. See Shane, this is why I come here. We think about like great solutions every single time. Look at that. Amazing. All the options in the book. Damn, those threads are gone. Ah, oh, the threads. Okay, so we're gonna have to chase those as well. Well, let me see if, it, oh, that's pretty big. I don't think I got a chase it that big. It's another late day here at Eurocharge. I gotta give a huge thanks to all the guys for pitching in. We are coming close to the deadline here. We've just got a few things left, but check out the brand new 
front suspension. We've got brand new shocks. I can't wait to show you how bad the old ones were over there. Uh, sway bar end links, a new lower control arm. Now the other control arms that are on this car, Alex showed me, he had the receipts for these. So these have already been replaced just a few years ago. So we basically got all fresh suspension in the front. We're also gonna have all brand new suspension. All the control arms are being replaced back there. Both shock absorbers are being replaced. These shock absorbers were so blown, but also something else is gonna make this car ride and handle incredibly, the brand new motor mounts. You saw how much that motor was rocking around when we were pulling the transmission out. That's because these motor mounts are gone. They're toast, they're all cracked up. They're brittle, they're old, and we replaced these with OE motor mounts from FCP Euro, as well as, did you see the Bilstein Sport shock upgrades? Okay, these are the original shocks. They were stuck in the perch and the valves are just completely jammed down. These are blown, they're bad, and the car is gonna ride like a new car. It's gonna ride better than when it was new. And then in the back, we've got a brand new fresh pilot bearing the old one again, worn new rear main seal, and there's a gasket behind the rear main seal housing here that was leaking quite a bit. I mean, you could see the old grimy oil, and this is a notorious problem on these cars. All that's been refreshed. We've got brand new O2 sensors. All four of them are being replaced. Well, we already did the ones up top. We did this one. We just need to get this last one in here, but the big to-do is the transmission on this car, which is still putting up a bit of a fight. Look at this guy dancing like a tool. I just want to record without any distractions. <laughs> All right, if you can't figure, it's a, it's a little loud out there. So I went in the office really quick just to show you. Uh, obviously Sage is back there cutting on the car. You can hear that right now, cutting out rusted and suspension pieces. This is the transmission brace right here. These are new replacement transmission mounts. And here's our old ones. One of them split here, one of them split there. And there's literally like this bolt that runs through the center. So again, everything is just rusted, corroded. And that's what we're dealing with pretty much everywhere on this E39. Now, if we try and take these out, I'm guessing it's just gonna spin. Yep, spinning on that one. Spinning on that one too. So I'm just gonna go get a set of uh, pliers and use two hands. This was way more difficult than it needed to be. Just to show you, I have burn rubber all over me. Just a few hours before closing time, I brought the BMW's flywheel to be resurfaced to United Speed World here in Tampa. And I begged and pleaded for them to get it done in uh, short order. They did. They got it done the same day. And I want to give them a huge thanks because when they found out it was going in this car, which was being raffled out for charity, they didn't even charge me for the job. This has uh, been uh, a lot of days. Not days. I'm, I don't even know what to say. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> yeah, this car is like over the top. Everything is being replaced. Every single thing has been So we're getting ready to put the clutch in. Come on in here. And... Uh, we got the clutch alignment tool. This is exciting. Clutch is going on brand new OE part, completely resurfaced flywheel. Get in here and show how beautiful of a job they did on that flywheel. It's really nice. So what the clutch alignment tool does is it sits inside the pilot bearing and it sits, it's keyed to also your clutch. What it does is it aligns everything to, it's literally an alignment tool. It aligns where the center of the pilot bearing is to the center of the clutch. That way when you slip your transmission on, the input shaft goes exactly where it's supposed to be um, compared to the bell housing. Because whenever you throw a transmission on, like every single one of them, they're going to have their input shaft in the center of the bell housing. And if it's off a little bit? It'll start messing up crank, it'll start messing up clutch, it'll start messing up anything. It's a good thing. So this was a kit from FCP. It came with the tool, the pilot bearing, the clutch, pressure plate. Grease. Yeah, everything. So this is the way to order it, man. That way you get it done in one shot. All right, put it up in there. Let's see what it looks like. Watch, he's got it on reverse. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is like the 87th one of these clutches Shane has done this month. Once you get closer, I'll slip my hand back up. Oh, I hit the thing. Uh-oh, I'm hitting it alignment. Okay. It's now, like right. It's right here. Keep on going. Rotate it. Is that all free? 
just double check. There we go, that's it. Right. And now I got the bolts right here. So once we tighten up the pressure plate bolts, mm -hmm. all we're gonna do is unscrew this thing. It's just gonna snap right off, right? Because it has a little Allen key thing. And then you see this, uh, probably gonna be an H10. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna turn it clockwise, it's gonna release the pressure plate, and then boom. Cool. We're gonna take all the really good trans back on. This is really great that this is like here, because that means that that transmission all brand new detents, brand new clutch and flywheel. I mean, this car, please, somebody drive it. Don't, if the person that wins it sells it. Control arms. Control arms everywhere, O2 sensors. Intake reseal. Well, yeah, like new intake everything. manifold gasket. Seriously, everything that will go wrong on this Toyota Camry of a BMW. 250,000 miles the next time you're gonna wanna do this. Get that bolt out. We're gonna take this. I, let pry me bar? double check. No. No, no pry no, 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 no. You see this? Yeah, it's an H10. Hold on. Let me okay. look at the socket. Look at, thank God we have Shane. This is seriously the first time I've done this. Well, I, I'm not even doing it. This is the first time I've seen this done in person. But we're gonna know now for when we do the Ferrari clutch. Exactly. I'm not saying that your Ferrari will have the same setup. I know. It will be similar. Similar. But not the same. Don't worry, I'll call you. And I'll have you come over and then I'll have you do it. Until we get stuff done around here, right? That's it? Yep. Right. You pull the tool out. And you see, it was still nice to us. Yeah, nice and smooth, so I was aligned. Perfect. Yep. We could throw the trains on, Sam. That's amazing. <laughs> Whew. What is this, like day eight out of... No, no. Day three. three. Yeah, I don't even know what you're out of me. This is the third day in a row working of like eight days on this BMW. Close to like 12 hours each time. Don't forget that. Like yeah. Look at like, outside. Yeah. yeah. 11 to like 11 or 12 every single day. Every single night. It's probably close to mid right, midnight right now. I can't even talk. Thank you very much for staying again <laughs> this late. No problem. And this is literally a transmission away from driving. The whole entire engine bay is complete. We got a bunch of stuff done today and we're just trying to muscle through this while we're not like doing every little individual thing. But uh, while we are doing every individual thing, we're just not filming it. So again, they, a lot of hands on a lot of different things. I'll switch up. You finish that tomorrow, I'm gonna work on this. I don't know about all that. Though. Okay. Well, so I'm gonna need you to show up a little bit early. All so right, that no, not early. Tomorrow? All right, we got one last day. We'll see you tomorrow and this thing's gonna be driving. If it isn't, it should be rolled by tomorrow. Uh, Next video should be rolled. No, this video is gonna be rolling. This we'll video. see you tomorrow morning. All right, <laughs> All right Shane, what do you want? where do you want me? Huh? Where do you want me to? Do you want the rear of the bell housing or the front? One's gonna be rocking, one's gonna be pushing forward. I'm gonna get the back, because you're gonna line it better. Seriously. Shane, Sam's gonna hit it from the back. No, enough with the and jokes. I, I apparently have to line the input shaft. Where do you want me to put this? I have to line the oh. shaft. Back, back like this. Align the shaft so Sam can put it in from the back. Guys, with these jokes, we just want this transmission and this is the last day. Higher. Okay. Now, let's do a little bit of, a little bit of turning. There we go. Get the bolt. Or we can go in the bolt more. Alright, dude. All right, I need the back up higher, yep. and then shift it towards uh, the passenger side of the car. Mm -hmm. A little bit higher. You're still on an angle, guys. I'm hitting something up top. We're on an angle. Higher up. Do you need to Maybe if we have to back out. Try to go back in. Oh, there, there she is. All right. All right, hold on. Well, she's in, so we just yeah. need to keep four. Can we get that here? Yeah. You want me to get this on it? Good. You're good, Sam. Do you want to get a bolt? Yes, yes, yes. I got this. Hold on. I got the trans. Don't push forward. Let me try to get this little gun to it back. No. Is it in? Yeah, that's great. That's freaking great. I put in the longest one there. Is that the right one? It looked like it. Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of... The bell housing size is how you base okay. the bolts on it. That's what I... I just want to make sure I put the right guy in. You got a long extension. From there, from there, and that's just a boop, 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 quick, quick, quick. I just want to make sure that you're going first. I understand. Yeah. Anyway, I, just, I got understand, and you just start to learn mechanics the other day. Yeah, I 
Who? Where are you going right now? Me? Yeah. Home. You going home? Yeah, in a bit. I saw you working on the Lambo over there. No, Jeff. Jeff is working on yeah, it? Yeah, I want to just try to help him a little bit. You know what I mean? I don't like Lamborghini. No? No. I prefer Bentley and Rolls Royce. I yeah. saw you rolling in that Bentley. Yeah, I prefer Bentley and Rolls Royce. And um, some BMW. Not all. How about this one? This is a classic, right? Well, this one because the stick ship. It was automatic and I say it's a piece of sh There you go. That's right. That's a, it's a reason why we saved it. You know how much we raised? $85,000 off this car for charity. Yeah. This was a free car. We raised $85,000. It's a good I, thing, right? You know why I say I want to do it mine? Why? When I finish fixing mine, I want to do a raffle. Yeah. With mine. Instead of selling it, do a raffle with mine and collect the money from my pocket. So, oh, for and your whoever, pocket. Whoever win the raffle, get the car. But wait. You keep all the money. You, but what about it? Can you give give ten percent to a charity and then you keep the rest? Is that cool? To a church. To a church. There you go. Yeah, fine. Instead of a charity, to a church. Okay. I need it. You there. Know what I mean, because some of the church them, they, you know, what I mean, the church need repair. Church need chairs. Church need um stool for people to sit down, stand up and kneel on. You know what I mean? New offering bowl, all this kind of stuff. So, church that I believe in. I will give some well, money too. Which car are you raffling off? We got to tell everybody. My E30 BMW. Uh, I want to raffle. We should raffle off this. No, not that. My E30 BMW. No, no, no. What happens if we raise uh, raise thirty thousand for that? You no, get probably something will happen. You give twenty percent to the church. Raise thirty thousand. Something will happen when when things like that happen. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're good, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, then I could buy a full electric. Is that what you want? Yeah, the full electric. Full electric smart? You yeah, should get one. The full electric is faster than that. Yeah. How yeah. how many miles away from here do you live? Um, probably about mm, 10. 10 miles. So the full electric would be perfect for you. Because yeah. it goes like what? 80 miles or 100 miles or something? 110. 110, there you go. You per You don't need that. Yeah. I need the speed. There you go. I like speed. Need for speed. We're gonna find uh, Yaba a full electric smart, little crash damage. We're gonna pull it on the dumpster back there. What's full electric. Yes, it's amazing. Why? It's pasta. Dude, and boost the motor in there. Look, Look at this guy. Always. Oh, who's will got be time destroyed. for that? Yeah, exactly. He's I, a master mechanic. He can do it. Listen, will be he will destroy the car. You know, it He's won't right. Have AC and all this kind of good stuff. Look at this guy. He you makes know? too much sense. This guy doesn't make any yeah. sense. So I don't I don't know. Know. I don't you want, want it faster, I'm telling you how to make it faster. No, get an electric yeah, you one. You get it faster, but then you don't have no AC. Then, when you look now, when you bring a woman in there with no with makeup on, my makeup going to be melting. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, tell me what my problem was. Why couldn't I get him out? Chisel. Chisel, all right. <laughs> All right, this is this is actually a very important moment here. Yes. Because Yobbs usually gets the job. Here, oh, listen to that. Wait, you want an induction coil on? I think the induction coil gets higher than the torch, no? Not a heat up better. You think? Yeah. You know the induction coil is? Yeah. Piece of <laughs> no, no, I got a new one. I got a new one. When you run in a shop, you need to have a tank settling tool. Uh, settling. Do you have one? You have one over there. Can we roll it over? No, you have to ask Jeff yeah, over. Ah, Jeff. Uh, Jeff. It's for charity, Jeff. It's yeah. for the kid. It is for the kids. That's what you have to ask more than that. You ready? You think we even got enough juice? We've been charging it for what, 20 minutes or so? Something like that. Alright, let's see. Crank it a couple times. <laughs> of course, gas. of course. Give it a little gas. I'll crank it a few more times. We got a little, we got gas, but hold on. No, I mean. Pedal. Okay. All right, Shane had a spare main DME relay. The one that we just pulled out of this car was super hot. This is the replacement. We had the battery jumper on. Um, what'd you say, 12 volts on the battery? Yeah. So it should crank it. 
and I think we kind of unnecessarily had that jumper on. We're thinking that maybe it burned it up. Let's plug this guy in. That was really crank no start, but you didn't hear anything doing it. It wasn't tr attempting to start. So. All right, let's do it again. We're literally gonna clean all this up before we give it away. So leave it off so I can vacuum it, but. All right, let's do this. Foot on the clutch. And do it one more time like this. Oh no. Come on. Just to show you what's going on right now. See the time again? We've lost track of it. And I think Shane's really onto something here. Big thanks to Chris. What's the name of Chris's YouTube channel? The Beamer Barn. The Beamer Barn. You gotta say it with pride. The no, Beamer it's, Barn. It's, it's me up there. I can't remember it. So no, it's it? it's definitely it's the Beamer Barn. Yeah. I like <laughs> the Beamer Barn. He just got a hell of a plug. We said it about eighty seven times. Uh, he told us that part of the procedure after you replace was it the flywheel? So uh, it said that if we have to replace the main relay um, after the first start, which we went through, like a no fire up issue, it kept on cranking, cranking, cranking. Um, and exactly what he said was in the procedure is just go pay attention to the fuses. We tested it with the power probe and we found that it was, what was the name of that fuse again? It was F2, but it was like engine. Uh, the control module, DME. It's it a, a DME fuse. fuse. It was a DME fuse? Yeah, it was exactly a fuse one? for the DME. Yeah. Well, it's a fuse for a few things, but DME was the first one in the list. Yeah. So, I mean, so what are you? what is this thing though? I've never, it just doesn't plug into a fuse box. You got to pry it out of the bottom of that thing? It's a fuse holder. Well, I've no. never seen anything like this before. So this is, well, but this is the, the 30 amp fuse is in this housing. Yeah, if you look at it, I don't know if you want to check it out underneath. But that's why you're using the power probe. You just yeah. couldn't look on the top to see the fuel. Yeah, I, this, there's no way I would have taken that apart without pulling all of this stuff, and I was not going to do that. If it, yeah. I needed power on it. Like, Wait, so this is old school, obviously. Nobody does this anymore, do they? No. I've never seen this ever. I'm talking about this like it's an ancient UFO. It's from 2002. It's a, it's a, oh, two, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this. Um, let's see how we're going to get this apart. It has like a little slider thing. Looks like I have to like push it off to the side. There you go. Look at that. Right in the middle? Right in the freaking middle, dude. And we'll replace it with a brand new one. Dude, All that works to be hoping that up. Um, let's get this knocked out again. Try it's going to start it right over. Yeah. I got to put the negative terminal back on. We pulled the negative battery terminal while we were doing this, obviously. So. After I get on the Yes. Out. Ready? Runs beautiful. It literally is like, besides the fact we just have no exhaust on, yeah. it's idling perfect. Oh. <laughs> it, it was talking back to you. I'm gonna shut the hell up now. Put in gear. Wait, wait, wait you're on the ground. Oh. <laughs> Spinning. All right now, hold on. Let me put it in reverse. <laughs> this thing has a short shifter in it, so this is how you put it in reverse. All right, here we go. Dude, you're in reverse. The, the reverse lights turn on. Hold on, is is the wheels moving? Yeah. Yes. You got oh, you got the pops and bangs tune. All right, so the question is. Since we're having a trouble with the exhaust studs, that's literally the last thing. We can take it to an exhaust shop easily. They'll fix it. But we get the resonators cut off, so it sounds a little bit more like this. I don't know, not my style. I would say no to that, but let us know in the comments section. Maybe we leave it up to the new owner? Uh, well, or the audience. Yeah. Can I shut this off for a second? Yeah. Listen, seriously, this is a big moment. And a lot of it was due to you stopping all the work you were doing on all these cars in the background and helping me. So I can't thank you enough and Euro Charge, but mainly you because 
we all know everybody. No, I was going to make a joke about somebody else. That <laughs> Mason, you know I'm talking about you. This is the last time this car will be up in the air. We're dropping it down right now, getting ready to load it in the trailer. Of course, it started to rain, uh, but I just kind of want to go over and show everybody everything that uh, we all put into this car. I mean, this is a huge group effort. Look at this suspension. Pretty much all rebuilt. Brand new shock. Sway bar end links, brand new. Control arms. Both of them brand new. I don't know if we could see the other one, but it's new. Mounts all new. Transmission mounts. Obviously, transmission completely refurbished. There's our new trans mounts. What do we got? New motor mounts. All new bolts. Yeah, oh, these are $38 with the brand new BMW bolts, bolts of course. We've got our little uh, exhaust issue here. We're gonna take this to an exhaust shop and have them figure out a solution, probably lop off each of these sides and connect it somehow. You, they'll probably make like a custom coupler or something. And then front suspension, again, all brand new. Control arms, shock, uh, everything, man. It's just all rebuilt, all brand new. It should be awesome. Yeah, oh, and of course, underneath the hood, there's no more holes in the intake manifold. We replaced that. Everything's been fixed, refurbished. Uh, new vacuum lines. We just gotta put that tire on. That's the only thing that's left to do. I was supposed to do that like two hours ago. You did, that's my fault. To be fair, I asked uh, someone else yesterday to do it, but they didn't do it, so it's okay. Who was it? No, it wasn't you. Never you. Shane, you go above and beyond. It was not you. I just whispered who it was. It was Sage. Sage. <laughs> they never coming back on. No, I'm coming back, but it seems like you came here. Dude, it's two in the morning. Two in the morning, you came here just because it's like a bittersweet moment. The 5.30's going home. It's not because I needed help. No. <laughs> no, it's not like you had to go find the keys that somebody misplaced for one of the cars that was parked behind. No need. You came here because it's a bittersweet moment. You gave it a test drive, how's it feel? Brand new, brand new. Look brand at this. New, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. What do the ramps look like? I Come like over. Hey, what's that over there? Oh, we won't talk about that. What? That's that's not. Yeah, we won't talk about that car. So with the car loaded on the trailer, I went home for the night and the next day we took off for the Amelia Island Concord d'Elegance where we met up with Alex and Laura and announced the car's winner. The 2002 E39 530i winner is Jason Vaughn. Jason actually has a Texas area code but lives in Ohio and I'm just wondering, is it a coincidence that we just tackled a ton of corroded fasteners on this car and the new owner lives in the Rust Belt? Either way, the project has made for one of my most memorable and I can't thank all of you enough for your support even just by watching and commenting and especially those who entered the raffle eighty-five thousand dollars for charity is amazing and i owe it to each and every one of you thanks to alex and laura for giving up their e39 fcp euro for providing all of the quality parts that went into this car shane and euro charger orlando for their continual support and help through these projects and to a few of my friends who you might know that stuck around to call the bmw's new owner and congratulate him all right we're here everybody you gotta get this i mean this is pretty monumental we're here with well, this guy with this guy with this guy and with this guy we're calling jason the winner of this bmw jared tell him you're calling about his bmw's extended warranty oh <laughs> that's not getting cut out yeah. <laughs> is that rich Short as you, you oh, are no. going to smell. You are in the danger zone yeah, right now. I can feel it like, into my skin already. Yeah. Shamu just went you up into the air and you were in the I got both of you in the front. It's a matter of time. Yeah. I got both of you. Sure oh, there you go. Oh, that's All a right. bad one. Too many tacos. Uh, uh, hi, is this Jason? Yes. J Jason, I, my, my senior supervisor is here and uh, he has a, a question for you. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Jared. I'm calling about your BMW's extended warranty. We've been trying to reach you, and it's expired. Um, the best you've got is Sam Crack. Yeah, and that's not very good. That'll work. So. That'll work. Are you cool. That's awesome. Yeah, you won the BMW. Congratulations. I'm here. We're awesome. recording. We've got really big names in the house. Oh, like, big uh, names? Okay. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Freddie, but I have a channel called Tavares yeah, sometimes. Yeah, Awesome, yeah. Well, you got you got a BMW, and um, I watch, I watch all you guys. 
<laughs> awesome, awesome, great. Thank well, you know, good yeah. luck. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it helps you uh, with this BMW. Oh, yeah. If you can call a BMW a win, yeah, then you, um, yeah. you can. Yeah. 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 Congratulations, it's a burden. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're excited. Yeah, we're excited to uh, send it over your way. Are you in Austin? No, I actually live in Ohio. Oh, okay. I have an Austin, I have an Austin number, but yeah. I live in Ohio. Cool. Well, don't you drive right past him, Alex? I'm here with my friend Alex from Chicago. Okay. Alex is going to drive gonna, this you're car. You going to drive the car to Ohio? No. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I was going to fly, but sure. So yeah, I'll okay, do it for you. you. <laughs> well, we're going to get it to you there. We just wanted to let you know. And again, congratulations. We want to thank you very much for donating. Yeah, so again, I hope you enjoy it, but there's a the chance that you might not. So <laughs> that that's a pretty big chance. Um, about about your vehicle with an extended warranty, there is none. So just uh, do you do you have a good set of tools? Yeah, Yeah, you're gonna need them. Yeah, thirteens, fifteens, sixteens, tens, a lot of tens. Uh, ten, yeah, tens. Um, yeah, just uh, torques. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot of those. Or a Weezer. A Weezer. Get one of those. Yeah. yeah. Weezers. Yeah. Well, the transmission's all been pretty much all redone. So that part, I think, you're going to be good. That's the only part that works. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. All right, Jason. Hey, thank you again. We'll talk to you in a few days. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye. What else? Jason. He has no idea. All right. Now, now do we call, like, the real winner or what? <laughs>